Oh, what's up, Animaniacs? My name is Animan. Welcome back to Pokemon RS Battle Spot Battles. We are continuing on here with our record of 13 and 13. So we managed to break even. Well, I think we broke positive, and then now we fell back to even with the last battle. Uh, so now we're 13 and 13, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we're 13 and 13. And uh, we have a new team here. We have Mega Altaria, which is a Pokemon that I really wanted to use uh like in competitive battling it looked really cool and, and all that stuff so hopefully i'm gonna be able to get a chance to use my Galteria. um I, uh, i'm fighting with this team because I've, ta uh, I've taken it out to kind of test around uh, i ha i don't have anything for fucking like mega kangaskhan so it, it's kind of worrisome for me but hopefully we won't run into any mega kangaskhans uh but anyways we have mega galade as my like my secondary mega as well uh, that way, I kind of have two teams I can mix around with, kind of thing. Rotom Wash, Arcanine, uh, Tango, and Excadrill. So hopefully, we'll be able to keep uh, our record going up rather than staying uh, at either even or in the neutral. <laughs> and uh, before we battle, uh, continue or go on to this battle here, I do want to say that I, I apologize for not having uh, content over the last what two, three weeks now. I do apologize. Uh, life gets in the way, and I just decided to just take a break, fo focus on life a little bit, and uh, and then when I'm good and ready, I'll come back and start uploading again. So, uh, anyways, we're gonna continue on. I, I'm gonna be uh, continuing my uploads on a daily basis now, hopefully, anyways, and continuing these battle spots uh, throughout the week, as well as you know other series and other series to come as well. Hopefully we'll be able to find a friggin' trainer battle here, because if we don't, I'm gonna have to uh, jump to when we do find a trainer battle. Any time now. <laughs> there we go, someone from Japan. Kanagawa? 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 I don't know. But anyways, okay, good. good no Mega Kangaskhan, which is good, but we got, looks like we have to deal with a, probably, Mega Gengar. Uh, Mega Charizard or Mega Swampert. We have Conkelder, Rotom Wash, and Dragonite, which is not not good for me. I feel like Altaria can come because it'll help with uh, taking out that Dragonite, especially if I set up, not set up, but, you know, Mega Evolve beforehand and get that uh, Hyper Voice off, fucking destroy its day. Or the Draco Meteor, whatever. Oh, I'm gonna yawn. <sighs> Excuse moi. Okay, so uh, Tangle, I feel like, has to come in case of the Swampert. Um, and then, and then for. Okay, so Altaria can take care of the Conkelder. Uh, the Conkelder could have. Oh no, well, I'll be Mega Ball. So, so they could have Rock Slide or something like that. Or Stone Edge. But uh, we'll be Mega Evolved and we won't have that flying weakness anymore. Uh, so, who's my lead here? I need to pick someone to help me against that uh, thing. Garchomp, not Garchomp, oh my god, Gengar. Gengar, Charizard, and which could be X or Y, I don't know yet. Based on its team, might be, might be Y? No, it would be, yeah, it could be Y, because I don't think he'd go for Dragon Fire, I think he'd go for just pure Fire Flying, uh, just because he already had the Dragon type on his team. Um, hmm, I'm like, I haven't even fucking picked a Pokemon yet. Probably Rotom. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Rotom. So let's lead him with Rotom. Uh, hopefully that's a, a good pick here. And I hope, hopefully I don't regret my decision. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to just uh, Volt Switch out of here if, if need be. But, uh... He's gonna be probably leading... I'm gonna guess Charizard X is... Or Charizard is his lead. We're gonna lead him with Rotom. Charizard is his lead, uh, which could be scary because if, if if this is the Y variant, then um, he's going to be going for Solar Beam here. So I need to make a decision: do I Hydro Pump versus the Hydro Pump, or do I just Volt Switch out and have someone else take the the hydro, or take the uh, the what you call it move? That's tough. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump here. 
I'm just going for the hydro pump here. I know, I know that uh, solar beam here is gonna hurt me tremendously if he does have the tr uh, the solar beam, the trolder beam. Haha. <laughs> so it's X. It's actually X. So what I should have done was volt switched out, um, because this is gonna be neutral damage to him. If it lands though, he's gonna go for the outrage. Just straight out go for the outrage, which is not good because. Uh, Earl Tom is not physically defensive, and he gets a crit on me. Wow, we are already being hit with bad fucking luck. Holy fuck. Okay, so we're gonna go out to Altaria here. Uh, I don't think we're gonna outspeed this thing, are we? I don't know, but we're gonna have to, uh, Mega Evolve. So that way we stop his stupid-ass fucking outrage, and then we can just go for the, uh, I guess we just go for the Draco Meteor here, right? Because... Hyper Voice will be neutral because it'll be turned to Fairy type, and since he's Fire Dragon, uh, it'll be neutral damage. So we're we'll just going for the Draco Meteor. We're just going to hit something with a Draco Meteor. He didn't have anything that uh, made him immune to uh, dragons, so he didn't have a Fairy type on him. So uh, we should be okay with hitting him. So there we go. He's confused now. See, now I kind of do wish I Volt Switched or, or even just Hard Switched out. Actually, no, because. Uh, I wouldn't have been Mega, so that would have been a dumb move on me. But we d we land the Draco Meteor, and that's going to kill him. That's going to take him right the fuck out. So hopefully Mega Altaria here can give me a nice clean sweep here and give me a nice uh, victory. A nice W, a big old W. A win. Alright, so who is he going to bring now? Who is he going to bring out now? The Gengar. Um, Because he's going to be faster than me. Definitely going to be faster than me. And he probably has a poison move. Um... Which is not good because Ten Growth is my other Pokemon. I think I'm just best. My best bet is to just go for the Draco Media and pray that Altaria can take the the Sludge Wave or Sludge Bomb that he has for me. I don't think Altaria will. No, down, down goes Altaria. Maybe I should have swapped out there. I'm thinking about it now. Uh, maybe I should have. Uh, Cause uh, Ten Growth might have been. Yeah, Ten Growth. He's a Salt Vest Ten Growth. Ten Growth could have been able to take it. Uh, but this is game. Oh, this is GG. This is GG right here. Uh, I can go for the knockoff on this thing uh, for super effective damage, but outside of that, I got nothing. And this thing has levitate, so... <laughs> this thing's gonna have levitate, so... Uh, oh, come on. If I got the fucking... Oh, I had focus sash. That's why. Yeah, so... That's that. I can't hit him with an earthquake. If I could hit him with an earthquake, if he didn't have levitate, then uh, that would have been stupendous, but... Here comes the Sludge Bomb, and that's going to end Tangrowth's life. And uh, he's killed me with two Pokemon. So, kind of sucks. It's kind of heartbreaking. We come back, uh, and we come back to a loss. But at least uh, Mega Altaria got a chance to shine a little bit. I mean, we took out that uh, Mega Charizard X. So hopefully in the next episode, we'll be able to showcase Mega Altaria some more. And maybe actually get a full sweep or something. I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit the like button for me. Show your support for the channel. Show your support for the series. And of course, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay dirty. Yeah.